<laughs> hey man, I realized that I have been in my room recording a lot lately. And like, yeah, my ring light go crazy or whatever. But taco mist is natural light. You feel me? Look at me. Bitch, look at the type of person I am. I need to be in some natural light. So, here we are, you guys. If you've been here from the long run, you know where the fuck I'm at. I'm in the guest room. This is the bunk bed. It's a chair behind me. You feel me? It's a charger piece right here. Don't know where it came from, but I'm going to keep it because I needed another one. Fuck going on? I'm back. y'all story time of my experience at lake lanier if you live in georgia if you live in atlanta if you live in any of the surrounding areas bitch you know what the fuck lake lanier is lake lanier is a lake obviously stupid ass no bitch it's an ocean dumbass bitch it's a mountain ugly ass. not for real <laughs> so let me tell y'all for real y'all already know taco is a very superstitious person i believe in everything i don't give a fuck <laughs> I don't put, I always tell y'all, I don't put shit past nothing or nobody because we don't know what's out here in this world. You get what I'm saying? We don't know what type of shit is running around out here in, in this goddamn atmosphere. We don't know what's outside the atmosphere. I believe in a lot of stuff because why not? Like you have to be closed minded not to believe in this shit. Like who just wakes up and be like, no, it ain't no Bigfoot. Says the fuck who? Nigga, like who are you? Have you been to all the goddamn caves and, and and goddamn forests out here in america if not then shut up because you don't know motherfucker fuck around be in your backyard you gonna be like what is that it's a deer no nigga it's not a deer it's a bigfoot lake lanier is haunted moral of the story lake lanier is haunted stupid ass no i apologize if my lighting is super crazy i'm trying to like work with it y'all will be all right lake lanier is a lake in the northern part of georgia uh I think the Chattahoochee River flows into it. I think Lake Lanier was like created in like the 50s. According to my dad, my mom, because y'all know they older, that's daytime. Lake Lanier was created in like 1955, 56. And it's actually the, the Buford Dam, it, it lets out. Like the Buford Dam lets out into Lake Lanier. So they actually made it. It's like a, a reservoir. Like shit, shit floods into there. Like it's a man-made lake you feel me so red flag number one that's fucking creepy a man-made lake bitch that's scary as shit like the fact that humans can create shit that god is supposed to create that's so fucking scary to me i don't care i mean i know i, I don't believe in god but that's just fucking scary to me before i get into the story let me tell y'all how taco brain works i think humans can create weather i think we live in a big ass simulation y'all probably gonna think taco is weird and crazy but i don't give a fuck bitch that's how i think how you think is how you think, bitch. I'm gonna think the way I think. I think we live in a big ass simulation because a lot of this shit, for a lot of this shit to even work and, and for a lot of this shit to be controlled man and man-made, that's scary. It's, it's gonna be 2020. It's no telling what these people can do. Like, I don't put shit past nobody. Like I keep telling y'all, NASA, bitch, whoever, <laughs> all them other people, the CIA, the FBI, bitch, the DEA, the fucking nwa whoever bitch fuck i don't put nothing pa swv bitch <laughs> i don't put nothing past nobody because a lot of this shit is just weird to me you feel me let me tell you i seen this video these niggas made it rain like nasa was launching like a fucking rocket or something and the the rocket created a cloud and that cloud ended up raining so everybody was kind of like no they didn't make it rain they just made a rain cloud and it rained so, bitch, basically, they made it right. What the fuck are you? <laughs> basically, they made it rain, nigga. What are you talking about? Like, niggas trying to find a loophole and shit. They didn't make it rain when the rocket launched. The rocket did this, and it made a fucking pixelated. No, nigga, either way it go, they made it rain. Like, shit like that is weird to me. Like, how the fuck, how, how is a human doing some shit like this? You feel me? Like, even, even just a machine. How did that rocket make it rain, bitch? So, anyway lake lanier is a man-made lake it's in the northern part of georgia is is 
it's very like it's up there you feel me um somebody my skin complexion i shouldn't even been up there in the first place because it's a very racist area but i'm gonna tell y'all why i was out there i'm gonna tell y'all my experience in the in the area and i'm gonna tell y'all why i think it's fucking haunted so like i said lake lanier was created in 1956 if i'm not mistaken um it's a man-made lake they like i said the chattahoochee river flows into it and it's also a let out for the buford dam before Lake Lanier was created, do y'all know what it was? Anybody? I'm a call on anybody. You got your hand raised? Nope. Okay, you were just stretching. All right. What about you? Nope. Oh, mm, what? You said you want what? Oh, you you want hot Cheetos from Keisha? Keisha, get her some hot Cheetos for it. Lake Lanier before it was a lake. It was a town. It was a thriving fucking town. It wasn't an abandoned ghost town. It wasn't like people just up and left and left the town. So they, oh, let's move it over here. Let's make this. A no, it was a thriving town. Do you know who inhabited that town? Us, black people. So, you know, the 50s, Taco wasn't born in the 50s. I'm not too sure how the 50s were. But from what I hear, it was very fucking racist. Like nowadays, Um, nothing has changed. Stupid ass, not nah, for real. Lake Lanier was a very thriving ass black area it was a, a black town it was black workshops black businesses black people living in their fucking homes raising their beautiful black children black 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 blackly black black by popular demand bitch you feel me it was a black area a black town y'all already know how that shit go when they see us doing a little too much what them niggas do run us up out of there or somehow make us hate each other and kill each other so they can goddamn tear us down i don't, I don't know what made these motherfuckers go up in that town it was kind of like we finna flood this bitch but that's basically what they did what from what i read and from what my parents told me and from what my other family members told me like i said my family is very much older than me so you know they was around during that time they basically ran the families out of the area and flooded the town now look at me y'all know half them families did not get ran about that fucking town y'all already know some black people we ain't going out without a fucking fight you feel me and you know, when you talk back to somebody of that nature, what do they do? They used to kill us, they used to lynch us, they used to torture us, they used to beat us the fuck up until we left. So, you know, I feel like a lot of that went down as well. Um, not only was it just, a, it, it, it's a fucking town, you guys. Like, imagine a town. It's, it's fucking cemeteries. It's, like I said, it was buildings, it was businesses, it was stores, it was houses. It was a whole, like, field in that bitch and i'm gonna tell y'all how i know it was a field like a football field like like a fucking soccer field or something i'm gonna tell y'all how i know that so a whole town just flooded the people were paid to leave like you know if if somebody wants to come in and fucking renovate a whole area they usually pay people to like they'll give you money for you to move or they'll pay you for your for your fucking land and like like we're trying to build something like right right here like if somebody came to my neighborhood and was like yeah we're trying to turn this into a big ass mall area we'll give you this much to relocate shit like that y'all know they ain't paid them black people shit it's the 50s probably gave them motherfuckers two lambs and like three dollars y'all know they're not paying no black folks that much like it, they was probably like, either get y'all ass the fuck up out of here or we gonna move y'all our fucking self. And I kind of feel like that's how I went down. Like I said, I don't put shit past nobody. Anyway, let me get into story time. <laughs> so if you do not live in Georgia or Atlanta, I know it's the same place, but it's not the same place. I don't give a fuck. If you don't stay here, then you may not hear the stories of every time somebody goes out to Lake Lanier, they die. It's always a tragic accident at Lake Lanier. Somebody always drowns. Somebody always run into something. They get killed, chopped up shot up it's a shooting at lake lanier who the fuck is shooting at a lake who, who the fuck shot you a fish what the hell going on out here lake lanier is body soup nigga that water is infested with bodies it's infested with the town the town is still up under lake lanier i feel like a lot of shit that goes on out there is the energy surrounding the town. Taco is a big believer in energy, y'all know that. If you're not a big believer in energy, bitch, you better start because it's possible. Lake Lanier has a lot of fucking energy in it and a lot of unresolved trauma and like past issues in it. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna keep saying that because y'all probably like, nah, bitch, you just tripping. No, nigga, it makes sense to me. So with all that being said, imagine being black in a time where, I mean, shit, 
y'all was supposed to coexist together but it was still a lot of hatred you feel me a lot of animosity so imagine some white people just up and coming and telling you to get the fuck out your town nigga excuse me <laughs> i don't know about you but taco gonna stand at her door like you want me to do what <laughs> and from there you already know i mean you know it's like they could they kill black people and get away with it now imagine how it was back in the day you feel me lake lanier is fucking haunted i was out at lake lanier last year 2018 i actually went with my brother my oldest brother is a truck driver he drives for fedex my oldest brother has been around all of america my oldest brother has been to the west coast the east coast North side, south side. My brother knows the in and outs of every fucking where. So he's a very adventurous person when he's not working. I'm leaning this way because the light is in my face. My brother's a very adventurous person when he's not like on the road doing work and shit. So my brother hit me up. He like, yeah, you know, like I got this cabin up there or whatever. He was like, I'm going, your niece going and my girl going or whatever. And then my, me and my niece is like the same age. My niece is actually a year older than me because my family's so old. My nieces and nephews are older than me and it's just crazy. My niece is a year older than me. So my brother like, yeah. So like I said, my, my niece going, my girl going and you know, we just wanted to invite you or whatever. So your niece could have somebody like to chill with while she was out there. Lake Lanier is far. It's in a whole, it's like, like I said, it's in northern Georgia. It's up there in the fucking mountains and woods with bobcats, the wildcats, Tasmanian devils, bitch, Digimon, Pokemon out there. All types of crazy shit. So, you man. know, man, Taco always down for adventure. I'm a Sagittarius. That's all we love. So, you know, skirt, skirt. My brother swing by, pick me up. Boom, we headed out there to Lake Lanier. Now, prior to this, Taco has always heard about Lake Lanier. You know, being a fucking atlian you hear about Lake Lanier all the time. I don't care if you live in the crevices of the hood. You know what Lake Lanier is. Anytime you hear Lake Lanier, the first thing, if you come to Atlanta right now and ask somebody about Lake Lanier, you probably gonna hear, that shit haunted. Don't go to Lake Lanier, somebody always dying out there. Lake Lanier is actually where Usher's stepson or his godson, that's where he passed away. Y'all remember, y'all remember not too long ago, Usher had that whole thing, Usher the singer, y'all probably like Usher. Usher the fucking singer, yes. Usher's Usher, one of Usher's kids died, his son or something. I think he was out there like maybe on a water ski or a jet ski. Something happened and a little boy tragically passed away. It was at fucking Lake Lanier. Um, a fucking NFL player, can't remember if he was retired or if he was still in the league, like actively. Fucking NFL player actually went missing out there and then they like found his body like underwater, like latched on to something. It's so, I'm gonna explain to y'all. It's so much shit up under that water because it was a town down there. So you imagine swimming in a lake and you feel something bruh. You saw how I was swimming? Bitch, what the hell are you doing? A fucking poodle paddle, bitch? So you, <laughs> you imagine swimming in a fucking lake and something brushes you? Bitch, who? <laughs> bitch, I'm a goddamn... <laughs> bitch, who the fuck? <laughs> bitch, I'm a drown myself out there. Like, it's so much shit under that water because it was a town down there. So you in the water, you brushing by fucking mailboxes, fucking houses. It's, it's whole building still built, but just like slowly but surely falling apart because it's submerged in water, my nigga. It's a whole town, y'all. Like a whole fucking town just flooded. The people who flooded it, they didn't even think to like tear shit. Down. And like, nah, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna tear shit down. Just flood it, flood it, nigga. I mean, it wasn't nobody here anyway, but some black people. And we ran them, ran them up out of here anyway. Flood this shit. Let me tell y'all my experience at Lake Lanier and why I know it's time. To the location, we get to Lake Lanier. The energy, as soon as we hit hit like the city, because it's, it's in Beaufort, Georgia. As soon as we entered Beaufort, Georgia, I fell off. I was like, ew. You you ever been in a situation, <laughs> ew. <laughs> you ever been in a situation you can kind of feel shit going left. You can kind of feel like the vibe is off, the energy is off. Or even if you just around a group of friends and they bring that one person around that you don't fuck with. You know that energy, you know that feeling, that's how I felt. So as soon as we hit Beaufort, Georgia, I'm in the, in the car like, hello <laughs> energy jesus what the hell is this i'm like this shit feels it feels nasty it feel like it feel like somebody just took a bunch of fucking candy and just put it in my fucking mouth and i just had to chew everything like bitch don't spit it out that's how nasty it felt like imagine chocolate imagine bubble gum imagine skittles 
And imagine some fucking chewing gum. Just all put in your mouth at one time. You just chew it. Chew it, bitch. Would y'all do that? Hey, if somebody was like, I'm going to give you $1,000 right now. If you just put all this candy in your mouth, just fucking chew it. You can't even spit it out. Ew! That's how I felt. Like, <laughs> it felt compacted. It felt just, it just felt fucking... I don't even know what the fuck this feels like, but god damn it, this is how it felt. Just fucking stupid. Doesn't this look fucking stupid? This is how it felt. It's fucking... Y'all probably gonna comment like, so it felt like you slapping your hands together. Yes, stupid. <laughs> and the cabin that we're staying in is actually an Airbnb. Who the fuck is renting an Airbnb in a fucking zombie town? I don't know. My brother. Like, I was like, nigga, you tripping. Airbnb is actually nice as fuck. I ain't gonna cap on them folks. That shit was hard. The town was just, bitch, felt like a racism. <laughs> the whole experience just felt like a racism. I felt like I was in a racist, scary movie. Like, I felt like it was just so much underlying racism, but I couldn't point it out. Because we were, like, the only other black people out there. And I was just like, let's just relax. We was like a grain of pepper in a fucking bowl of salt. I said, yeah, let's just chill out. I'm not even gonna pop my shit out here cause it'd be just our luck. These motherfuckers lose their mind. Ain't nobody gonna look for us. Like nigga, fuck it. I'm packing. My niece is actually lit. My niece is like enjoying it. She's like, yeah, bitch, I'm gonna go get in that lake. I was that bitch like, bitch, you gonna get goddamn bronchitis swimming in that goddamn lake. I said, you wanna go get in the lake? She said, yeah, I wanna, I wanna like get, I wanna put my feet in the lake. I said, you go ahead and put your goddamn feet in there, bitch. Motherfucking Ooga Booga Monster gonna grab your stupid ass. I said, okay. She's like, you don't wanna go to the lake? First of all, Taco can't swim. I'm, I can't fucking swim unless I'm swimming in some pussy. I can't fucking swim. Like, no, I don't wanna get in a fucking lake. I don't like getting in, in a fucking, a, the fucking thing. <laughs> Cause I can't even just say a pool. I don't like being somewhere and there's nothing under my feet. So roller coasters, like the fucking Superman at Six Flags. Is that that? When you get on a Superman and it's nothing under your feet, you're just like hanging, you're like dangling. I, I don't like that. I don't like, I don't like not feeling something under my size three foot. It freaks me the fuck out. I don't know what it is. I know who the fuck, where the fuck is, is the thing that's supposed to support where, who, <sighs> hello, foot Jesus, please bless me with some type of fucking, uh, this my foot. This is what I need you to. God damn, you see this? This is what I need you to bless me with. So my foot, then my foot, my foot can, that. You you heard that connection? That's my fucking foot. Look, this is what I need you to bless me with. My foot. I need that. I need some type of fucking solidness <laughs> under my fucking foot. I don't do that shit. I hate it. It freaks me out. <sighs> Bitch, I don't even know who to call on at this point. Because I done told foot Jesus already. I don't like that shit. I said, no, I don't want to get in that fucking lake. She's like, why? Bitch, it ain't a swimming pool. At least in a swimming pool, like when I'm in three feet, because I'm fucking tiny. Or is it four feet? Four feet. When I'm in four feet, the water comes fucking here. At least I can like, you know, walk. I can still feel the fucking, the fucking ground up under me. When Taco start hitting that goddamn five feet, that six feet, I start freaking out. Because bitch, where's the ground? I'm freaking She's out. She's like trying her best to talk me into like just getting in the lake and like putting my feet in it. I'm like, sweetie, first of all, I have eczema. Second of all, I'm a Negro. No, I, man, who the fuck swim in lakes? Nigga, what the fuck you want a flesh eating disease? I hear too much shit going on in the world for me to just jump in the fucking lake. But fuck around, get in that goddamn lake and come out with a UTI. No, I don't wanna swim in no goddamn lake. I don't give a fuck. People like, you know, if the water is moving then the water is being clean. Who the fuck says that? How do you know? Who Whose fucking logic is that? No, nigga, you fuck around and get in that lake, you gonna come out looking like Dawn of the Dead. We had the Airbnb, we unpacking, we putting shit up, putting shit down, putting shit on. Cause these motherfuckers wanna go to that lake so bad. And I'm just like, yo, I'm not feeling it. My energy's fucking off. I feel, I feel compressed. Every time something is off, Taco feels like she's being smushed. I feel fucking suffocated. I feel like something is just around me and I have to do like this to like fucking fit in like i felt like i was doing like this the whole time i was there like bitch balled up <laughs> i said y'all not feeling this shit these motherfuckers is like look you tripping just enjoy yourself i can't because i feel my goddamn ancestors tapping me on my goddamn back like bitch avenge us like <laughs> find a white man kill him like, i'm like look like, i don't know who did it maybe it's his great great uncle I can't kill the great great uncle for what he did. It's not the same person. With all that being said, we finally settled in, put all our shit up, 
everybody relaxed, everybody lit, niggas drinking. They're like, yo, let's go to the fucking lake. Everybody wanna go to this goddamn lake and just fucking die, huh? That that today's today's fucking list consists of let's die. Like I said, okay, bet. I ain't gonna talk nobody out of it. I mean, bitch, either way you go, you kinda said yes to coming. So don't be a party pooper. So I said, alright, bro, let's go to the lake. I mean, taco just not gonna get in. We at the lake. This fucking lake is huge. This lake is so goddamn big. And you know why it's fucking big? Because it's a city. It, they flooded a fucking city. The area that we were at by the lake, it was kind of like, it was like trees in the middle as well. It was bushes, it was shrubs, it was trees. Like, it's fucking huge. So like, it got to this one part of the lake where it was just like a land mass of fucking trees. So I'm like, mm, okay. I'm not thinking nothing of it, you know, but at the same time, I'm still thinking like, it's a city up under this bitch. The whole time I was at the lake, that's all I'm thinking. It's a fucking city under this. If I put my feet in here and I feel something, I'm going to freak the fuck out. So I'm just not even going to get in the water. I'm just going to stand here on, on the shore and look at these motherfuckers have the time of their life. Because this will be the last time. My niece turned up. My brother turned up. My brother girl turned up. And I'm just standing there. And they like, come on. Like, come on. Like, we ain't coming out here for you to just stand there. They were like, you want to get on this boat? No, I don't want to get on a fucking boat. Fucking white man. Colton. I remember him. Colton was like, yeah, you know, I, I give y'all boat rides, like $10, $10 each, $10 every person. Who? Colton, boy, fuck you. These niggas was like dead ass trying to get on Colton the boat. I'm like, no, boy, Colton is not Le Yachty. I'm not getting on this goddamn the boat. I'm gonna fuck, I'm gonna fuck pay. <laughs> Bitch, Colton, you want me to pay $10 to die? Fuck you, Colton. Colton is explaining. He like, yeah, I'll take you over there. I'll take you over here. I'll wrap you around right here. I'll wrap you around these trees. We're going to come out. I'm going to hit a U-E. Skirt, skirt. Pull you back up to the dock. That's it. That's all the boat ride consists of. I'll take you as far as you want to. I'll take you wherever you want to go. Just remember, we're going to skirt, hit the U-E, come back. Who, you just, first of all, Cole, you just said you was going to wrap me around a tree. Fuck no. Nigga, no. I No, nigga. Colton is just like, yeah, you know, let's fucking party. $10 a person. I got brewskis on the boat. You can bring your drinks on the boat. You can bring your speed. You got a speaker? Fuck yeah, bring the speaker. Bring the stereo on the boat. Let's turn up. I got you guys. $10 a person. I'm looking at my brother. I'm looking at my niece. I'm looking at his girl. I'm like, y'all finna get this nigga $40 <laughs> so we can die. I said, no, I don't want to get on this goddamn boat. You know what the fuck happened? Taco got on the goddamn boat. Taco's on the boat. I'm on the boat. Stiff. I'm on that fucking boat like a mannequin. I'm not moving. I'm not even saying shit. I'm just sitting there like, we gonna goddamn die. Colton said he gonna wrap us around a tree. That's what he gonna do for real. We on that fucking boat. Colton's like, skit, 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 skit. Colton, fucking relax. Because you're doing a lot, Colton. Take us around the lake. Lake's fucking huge. We got to this one area of the lake. It was so far back. I felt like I was looking at a mirage. Like, you ever look at something for, for so long, your eyes start playing tricks on you? That's what the fuck was happening. I'm looking at this huge fucking spacious ass lake and I feel like the harder I stare, I'm seeing shit. And it got to the point where I was like, that's, I'm not tripping. I like see I keep telling y'all it's a city under this bitch. So as Colton's driving, you know, we got a little speaker on the boat. I'm like, turn on the speaker real quick. Talk to my brother. I'm like, turn on the speaker real quick. I'm like, Colton, what is that back there? He was like, what you see? So I pointed, he took us back there. Do y'all know what the fuck was in this water? Bleachers. I said, what? Hello? I said, Colton, what is that? He said, it looked like the top of some bleachers. He was like, every time I see that, the sea level is like rising or lowering or some shit. I don't know how the fuck the sea works. I just know the sea wake up. One day the sea wake up, like I want to rise today. And then the next day he'd be like, I want to go back downstairs. So I'm fucking lower this bitch. I don't know how sea levels work. Just know that the fucking... <sighs> When the elevator come up with the water, bring the water up, the water go back down. I don't fucking know. I just know I saw bleachers. So Colton took us back there towards the bleachers. I'm like, Colton, what is this? He was like, yeah, these bleachers been out here for a while. I I know they've been out here for a fucking while because it's a town up under this bitch. So I asked him, I said, what's under this What's under this lake? He said, uh, I mean, people come out here, people kind of litter. You know, people litter. He said, uh, people throw all types of stuff in this lake. I said, but what's really up under this lake? He said, from what I always hear, it's a town down there. And I said, so Colton, right now, are we looking at bleachers that was probably a part of that town 
Like, like right now, are we kind of in the fucking area of what may have been like a fucking stadium or maybe like a football field? He said, yeah, probably. And I just, I just sat there and I just stared at him because he was so calm talking about it. It made me fucking uncomfortable. And I'm looking at him like, is this not fucking creepy to you? fucking Colton no it's not creepy to you because you don't give a fuck so I'm looking at my brothers I'm, I'm looking at my brother I'm looking at my niece I'm looking at his girl I'm like this is not scary to y'all I did ask, ask him I said this is not scary to y'all they said shit happened man shit happens so fucking flooding a town is just fucking normal I guess I said y'all all right so at this point, I'm starting to get fucking irritated because I'm not enjoying myself I don't like the energy I don't like how this shit feels I don't like the fact that I'm in a boat fucking riding around on top of a town it's, it was so much shit in that water, y'all. It was freaking me the fuck out. So, I remember the fucking boat ride was finally over. A waste of $10. Boat ride finally over. We back on the fucking shore. We back on the fucking dock. The coast. Bitch, I don't know fucking lake language. We back there. I see some people. I see people running around having the time of their life. Taco is a very... I don't like people, but when I'm trying to figure something out, I'll talk. So, I go up to somebody... I was like, are you always out here? Like, do you come out here all the time? Because he had, like, a whole fucking shindig. That nigga had a tent. He had a fucking cooler. The tent was, like, half a house. I said, yo, you out here fucking lit. You finna move in, ain't you? So I walked up to him. I said, you come out here all the time? He said, yeah, I've been coming out here for some years now. I asked him. I said, what, what is Lake Lanier? Like, what's under Lake Lanier? He said, it's a whole town up under here, sweetie. And I was like, did they tear anything down? said no they just flooded it and he was like i've been in this water so much i grew up swimming in this water he said i i didn't swim in this water so much i felt shit touch me i felt shit brush past me at one point i felt something under my foot and i kind of made it out to be a mailbox I s <laughs> hello <laughs> uh, mailbox jesus did you deliver these people they mail yet because i think you missing them now what the fuck you mean man Talked to him for like maybe like five minutes at the most. I was just asking questions because I'm trying to figure out why are so many people comfortable with going to a lake where it's a town under it? Is that not freaking y'all out? The When I tell y'all, I was so freaked out when I saw those bleachers because it's kind of like, do y'all understand how far up bleachers go? Like, like some real deal bleachers, not no bleachers in your fucking high school gym. I'm talking about bleachers like in a fucking field like a soccer field a football field y'all understand how fucking big bleachers are and how far up some of them go for me to see the, the top step of a bleacher it really it freaked me the fuck out because i'm like it's really something up under us and niggas come out here and just party like it's fucking the end of the world i said yo this shit is sick nigga like that's after a while i started feeling fucking sick i said i gotta get the fuck so you know lake lanier is known for a lot of fucking deaths. Somebody actually just passed away recently at Lake Lanier, I wanna say maybe last month. They found a van, and inside the van it was a man, and he had been down there for maybe six months. They said the fish, they said somebody was fishing, and he found a van, and inside the van it was a man. I'm mean, like, how the fuck are you fishing, and you, the fuck did you do? You pulled up the fucking van with your fishing pole? I said, what the fuck? For something to be down there that long, it's, it's a whole van, a Brady Bunch van. For a van to be down there that long and nobody fucking knew for six months or longer, do you understand what the fuck could possibly be down there? A town, my nigga. Grocery stores, cemeteries, schools, houses. It's a whole town up under Lake Lanier. Do you understand that type of energy? Do you understand what the people probably fucking went through once they realize these niggas is flooding our home. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I, I don't want to hear none of that. Taco, they probably paid those people to relocate. Yeah, probably fucking some of them. But probably the rest of them, they probably didn't even fucking stand a chance, my nigga. Like, y'all know the way they treated black people because they still fucking treat us like this. They probably lynched so many fucking black people who tried to tell them, like, no. They probably fucking beat them up. Get the fuck out. Like, leave, nigga. We finna, we finna flood. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. 
y'all that shit made me sick nigga and and now i'm sitting here thinking i'm like the reason is probably so many deaths at this fucking lake <laughs> is because our ancestors are pissed the fuck up under that water grabbing their ass like yeah bitch you gonna come out here and swim all right i'm gonna get your ass some swimming bitch pull your ass up under this goddamn water nobody would know that you're here man <laughs> like oh it was just fucking it was fucking freaky it was creeping me out so you know we finally left the fucking lake we went back to the airbnb and I was moody. I was fucking moody. I was fucking, yo, not even on no possession shit, but I just, I didn't even feel like myself there. I felt like I was just out of, I felt like it was an out of body experience. I felt like I wasn't even fucking there. I felt, I, I just was so upset. For me to be in an area and I'm becoming irritated, I'm becoming moody. I don't like the energy there. Something's fucking happening to me, obviously. What the fuck is wrong with me? So, you know. We back in the Airbnb, we chilling, everybody fucking selling in. We got pizza, we got drinks. Niggas watching TV, my brother and his girl playing. What we about to do? My niece keeps fucking talking to me. She's like, you, you don't like it? What's wrong with you? You not having fun? No, I'm not fucking having fun. This shit is creepy, bro. I'm, I'm not enjoying this. This is making me feel weird. Y'all ever seen Amityville Horror? Every time they would get near the house, the family members would act out of fucking character. That's how I fucking felt. I felt like I was in goddamn Antleyville horror, bitch. Late linear horror. Because I said, what the fuck is going on out here? This shit is weird. This shit is creepy. It's too many fucking deaths surrounding this bitch. Every time somebody come out here, it's death at Lake Lanier. Two found dead at Lake Lanier. Three people fall off boat and go missing at Lake Lanier. Bodies recovered. Oh, shit. <laughs> if I was a news reporter, I wouldn't even report on that bitch no more. Every time something happened at Lake Lanier, I get on the news. Back to you, Taco. Yes, uh, Jim, I'm out here at Lake Lanier where, ironically, there's another fucking death. Can you motherfuckers just keep y'all ass from around this goddamn lake? Back to you, Tom. Bitch, I'm sick of it. <laughs> Soon as the camera cut off, I'm sick of this shit. Fuck y'all, I mean, keep coming. All, all my experience at Lake Lanier on a scale of 1 to 10, bitch, it was a negative 10. I hated it. It was fucking weird. It ain't a killer in Atlanta that got more bodies than fucking Lake Lanier. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Lake Lanier is dead nigga soup. Like, literally. Like, alphabet soup, bitch. No, dead nigga soup. It a hey. Fuck no. <laughs> fuck no, man. I don't care what nobody say. That shit was weird. The fact that it's so many people out there just enjoying their time. Having the time of their life on top of a flooded town. I, I couldn't fuck with it. I wasn't feeling it. It's weird. It's it's a town up under that bitch. The, the, the most uncomfortable part to me is the fact that, you know, within towns, there's cemeteries. So it's probably, it's, it's bodies in that bitch. Like, not even just the people who go out there and go missing. It's bodies from the cemetery out in that bitch probably just floating around. But, you know, I don't know. I just wanted to share this story with y'all because I saw so many Lake Lanier posts and I wanted to give y'all like my side of the story. Do I think it's weird? Yes. Do I think it's haunted? Fuck yes. Would I recommend it? If you like haunted shit, yes, bitch, I would recommend it. If you don't, no. Like, moral of the story, you guys. Moral of this story, just always do your research on something before you decide to go there. Taco is a very resourceful ass person i will search the fuck out of something before i just go another moral of this story know your history um another moral of the story don't always believe what certain people tell you because growing up people would just be like yeah lake lanier it's just a lake nah that ain't it motherfucker it's a whole town up under that bitch y'all done ran my folks up out of there probably probably killed some of them probably beat some of them up probably did some of them real foul and they gonna flood that shit Another moral of the story, if you're somewhere and it's making your energy feel off, leave that area. Don't don't sit there and put up with it just because you're around other people. Um, uh, en energy is a big deal to me. I, I kind of, the older I get, I'm kind of going off of my intuition. I'm going off of like how something makes me feel. If something makes me feel uncomfortable, I'm not putting up with it. I'm not dealing with it. Because why? Bitch, I'm stressing myself out for what? I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want to be stressed out, nigga. That's not fun. You feel me? So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. Hey, bro, right, um.